<laughs> and then you win. So heading into the next game, really I'm not sure what FlyQuest would have even talked about previously. Both teams haven't had to do much besides that. When you're winning, there isn't much to fix. You just keep working on what is going well. Impact getting some deep wards in that won't be denied for Fly. Nice job getting the tick on of Thunderlords. Jensen getting low on mana here, using that command move dissonance oh. really drains the bar. Flash, flash, end of the line just behind high. Smoke grenade's gonna slow him down. The, the pull up from Alltech is here. It's gonna be a summoner heal in the last second. Gets the save on him. Contracts could be locked up here. They need to keep running an end of the line against the wall. Contracts knows the power of this champion. Level four as he moves forward. Lemonation finally just getting out of the, the skirmish and lane to help. Yeah, a lot of respect being given to the Oriana, but now they go for contracts. Good. Five. And through the stand, United. Wow, that is the early... Impact doesn't have any way of getting down here. Balls would. They could actually make the force. Exactly. Both of his all and teleport are down. That's going to be the hit on two contracts. We have lost Smoothie in the fight. Sneaky very low. Grenade bouncing over. Smoothie low as well. Throws the tidal wave out to deny Lemonation and Alltech. But there's just too many members and Fly move too early. Nice play there by FlyQuest, actually getting the global advantage on the Shen and then utilizing the package on first base. That's actually relatively rare for Corkies to be able to pull that off the right way. FlyQuest, despite giving up first blood, bounced right back in a big way. Looks like Solo. Nope. High is going to stay around. So they share it. And we'll see this up with Stand United and Teleport. But they go right to the Stand United and Teleport and try to take it out home. The flash. There it is, finalizing the kill. So Impact may just have to teleport back out. Outer three are down, package in. Ex exhaust immediately onto Sneaky. And this is what we were just asking for, the curtain call, the dive in, the pressure plays, and the top turret goes down. They have the outer three now, and they know they can work a little bit inside C9's jungle with safety. Yeah, big credit to Moon there. Flashing out of Jensen's shockwave as the rest of FlyQuest collapse down onto Sneaky there. And how much do they want for a C9 to funnel in balls way around the back? Could this be it? They don't know where he went. They saw him a second ago. He's onto Sneaky. Shots come through, but they can't seem to get any more follow-up damage. Dragon was still being taken. Moon waiting to get over the wall. He finds Jensen now on the backside. Sneaky Huge down, fight. and they are flying through the exhaust route. So here comes the damage. Impact is the next focus. He's going to go down. Deadly Flourish just misses Smoothie and bleeding and limping away from this fight is C9 with three down. Boy, FlyQuest is laser focused on to Sneaky, burning the flash with the curtain call, then burning more flashes to get back on the, with the twisted advance. And that three for zero is going to transition straight into a FlyQuest Baron. They only had to wait four and a half minutes, chat. <laughs> they can't pull it off, and the package is going to be up with the Baron buff at some point during the sink, so. Really big move there by FlyQuest. They're up 6,000 gold at 29 minutes in game one. Now with the Baron, they're up. Coming in a little bit quicker, but they're taking their time, and they have time to take. Oh, they're going to try and get high. Shenalti coming in. No summoners there. What's the rest of the team going to do in mid lane? They actually go for the pressure. The wave was just pushed off mid, so C9 had to make that snap judgment. And middle and hip hardly gets more unkillable for a very low cost. Here we go with Baron. Oh, contracts oh, no. trying to do anything. And that combination of long range attacks, high all tech and lemonation coming up with a kill. No contest for this Baron and FlyQuest looking much more sturdy here in game two. Yeah. A very in real soon, because they're about to lose the base. Fly knocking on the front door 33 minutes in. They're gonna look for the first inhibitor down on this match. It looks like. They are very close to bringing it to a game three. We saw how zany game one got, so you can't really seal anything right now. It'd have to be a big mess up though from oh, Fly yeah. as they are closing down on the second inhibitor. The curtain call is opened up. Cloud9 can just sit back and watch the show as their inhibitor goes down. Contracts trying to thread in a few shots, but still just to reload back up and watch it go down. Yeah, I mean, even though I thought they were Extend this alt as long as I can to deter you from guarding it. Moon over the wall, that's the damage on the turret that's required. And here come the cavalry super minions in the top, in the mid lane. All five members of FlyQuest standing tall with full HP as they enter onto the Nexus turret. Sneaky, half HP impact, blocking the deadly flourish. 
and they're able to thread in the auto attacks well, keeping C9 at bay, five strong in their own base. And a pretty rough ending here for C9 is finally they try and go in for a fight. Impact going for broke. They roll the dice. Moon's the target. Exhaust down on him and they get him. Flies the next one. Impact with a second taunt. True to his target. Balls in the front with slicing, or with ventral maelstrom, I should say. Contracts getting exhausted. Lemonation focus his resolve and locks down contracts. Fly, balls, taking on three full members oh. of C9 as the rest of the team focuses the Nexus and he's still got the GA to go through. They're gonna Here be on the Nexus. High raises his arms in victory. We're going to a game three from FlyQuest and Cloud9. And that game was 